Hi, I'm Elizabeth Kucinich, the Director of Policy at the Center for Food Safety. Today we're in Southeast Washington DC at the Congressional Cemetery. And here at the cemetery they had a problem with invasives growing up trees, killing the trees, and those trees then falling on monuments. They couldn't have that, so they needed to get rid of those weeds in some way. They could have chosen herbicides, but instead the leadership decided to bring eco-goats in to save the day. We, we brought goats in to, uh, to deal with an invasive species problem um, behind the main fence of the cemetery. And um, lots of different species that are just kind of overtaking the trees. And of course, when the trees die, they put the rest of the cemetery at risk because they fall towards the light. And um, so the goats are here to kind of open it up enough so that the, the grounds crew can get in here and actually see what they're doing. Um, the goats will eat a wide range of, of woody material. and. Um, they're pretty, they're pretty non-discriminate about what they eat. Now, I'm really excited at the, the fact that you and your uh, companions are here doing this work because it really takes over from the use of herbicides and large-scale chemical applications. So, To do a site like this with herbicide would take hundreds and hundreds of gallons. You would have been broadcasting them onto the foliage. It would have really taken, you know, it, it would have killed everything. Even if you go through and you just nuke the site with herbicide, you don't interrupt the seed bank. And that's with most of our invasive species, the seed bank is really what just keeps perpetuating it. Many, many of these plants have seeds that will last 8, 10, even 20 years in the case of multiflora rose in the soil. So if you went through, you killed all the tops, you killed all the roots, those plants are still coming back year after year after year. And the goats will target the fruit and the flowers because they're high in nutrition. And um, so you actually, every time you graze it, if you time it right, you interrupt that seed bank. We actually won't put the goats in on a site that's been sprayed for two years, just because you know, they're my friends. I'm not going to put them in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Elizabeth Kucinich from the Center for Food Safety, and now you know how goats can save the day. Thank you for watching.